I think deep down, I cared more about how people saw me as yeah, an yeah. artist yeah. rather than serving the church, which is, I actually don't think it's wrong. If God calls you to be an artist, sure, I think that's beautiful. Yep. But I think I, I think I was called, I've always been called, I remember the moment when I was in, it's another great, one of those stories, but I don't. You Sh- can, no, share, bro, <laughs> okay. go, go, go. Well, okay. Well, I'm in the UK. Before we get into this conversation, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruslan, and this channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire you to live a life that blesses God. Ruslan. Um, and uh, at this festival with this, is this is the one time where I thought I wanted to be in a band, like mm. in our band, and band's called Fairchild, with some of my best friends, mm-hmm. um, and we had plans to be the next U2. Mm-hmm. You know, that was what we, that was like our goal. Yeah, and. Uh, and we were writing for it and working for it, but all the whole time, um, and it was a struggle because I was like, I felt like I was letting my be- best friends down just even internally. But the whole time, I, I was also leading worship and just having so much joy and is this, loving is, it. Sorry to cut you off. Is this more like mainstream stuff, or is yeah, it still it was worship? mainstream? So, so this is Phil Wickham, who's the worship artist that we all so, know. Yeah, that time, is doing kind of more of like a mainstream. Yeah. But it's but in, it's in my like mind, the, in my mind, the worship stuff was like almost like a tithe. At the t- I was 18, 19. Interesting, okay. And that was like, this is my thing to the Lord, but also, but I'm going to be in a cool band. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, uh, it, but I had this like inner turmoil that I wasn't honest with myself or anybody else with, but yeah. I could feel the anxiety of yeah. just like this pull. Yep. Every time I tried to do the band thing, I just didn't feel mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And I was like fighting it for like mm-hmm. a year. And uh, we were there. We had gone with the church group over to play at this UK event, and uh, it was like this Christian thing, but kind of evangelistic. Anyways, it started raining um, really hard, and everybody had to move into what that was called the tea tent, mm-hmm. very UK thing. But it was like that's where they had tea, and it was tented, and they had like a little PA in there. Mm-hmm. And so they're they're trying to move the whole festival under the tent. It was pandemonium, crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they finally got like a mic and a guitar line ready. They said, "Phil, just go up and sing some of your band songs." And mm-hmm. I tried and. No one was paying attention, and it was like not even really working, and and uh, so I was just gonna quit until they had more stuff hooked up. And then the the generator goes out, and oh. the lights go out. Oh. It's just like raining and no sound. And I remember going, so I went to the front of the stage. I don't, there must have been two thousand people, uh-huh. um, and I started singing, "I love you, Lord," and I lift my voice. And uh, and every Christian in the room that knew it started. It was just like everybody got silent mm. on the blackout, and then. They were all paying attention. I started singing, and they started roaring it back. Wow! And uh, and no joke. At the end of the song, let it let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ear. Like the generator kicked back on. The lights came on. No joke. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah. And for the next hour, just the sweetest. None of my songs. Just like the sweetest time of worship. Wow. Me and a guitar, and everybody's singing along. And it was like God used that moment. Not even to say I'm calling you as a worship leader. Mm-hmm. Je- I really did feel like he was saying, like, look, yeah. just open your eyes. Yep. See what's happening. Yep. Look in look in your heart right yeah. now. And I just realized how much joy I had in that yeah. moment, how much satisfaction, fulfillment, how I felt like I was right where I was supposed to be, mm. just singing, you are my all in all, you know, just mm-hmm. these old uh, 90s songs. And um, and that's when, that, that's when I really felt like, okay, I'm... I think God God wants me to write. I I know this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm mm-hmm. supposed to write songs um, for the church to sing. And so ever since that moment, I had this like sense of I want to have um, want to have music that people can sing. And I've always had that, but I kind of I it, and I think this is good. I think you should have this like the wrestle with like, but I want to have cool music. I want it mm-hmm. to for for the artists to sure. think this is cool. I want the churches to sing sure. it and the artists to sing it and. And, uh, and I think that's a great tension to have. I think we need more yeah. of that in Christian yeah. music. Yeah. Um, but if it's for the right reasons, and I think it took some growing up for me to kind of get out of the sense of like, it was for a reason of like, I want people to think I'm a good artist. Like yeah. I want, yeah. I, instead of I want to serve, yep. it wasn't it wasn't from a serving standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that I think that through maturity and learning and growing in situations and understanding just what brings peace and joy and satisfaction in life, realizing, yeah. oh, like, Serving people with the gifts God given you right. is like pretty amazing. Wow, that's that's awesome. And, and and having things scale now to again bigger audiences than ever before, bigger streams, reaching more people, bigger social media. Uh, you kind of shared about even that tension now internally of like, man, like is this is this Lord? I want this to still be about you, right? Yeah. And is are we getting caught up in? Uh, 
walking into an arena and 15,000 people sometimes singing my songs and I'm on the stage with the lights behind me, right? Yeah. And, and it's this interesting tension you described. Talk about that a bit. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it, it is interesting. The bigger things get, um, the more people are there, you know, there's just, there's just more to work with on every level. There's more to think about. There's more to reach for. It's like it's like the success can breed more ambition of mm -hmm. like, oh, well, mm -hmm. this is happening. And yep. maybe we could knock on that door and that door mm -hmm. and that door mm -hmm. and that door. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that cloud's like, well, what is what is just simply following God's calling? That's good. Not, not like, not let's not have ambition, but like, had, I, I've had to work at keeping my heart simple. Yeah. I had actually a, a word... I have a lot of words from the Lord from people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm like, was that from the Lord? Mm -hmm. You know, just yeah. like people coming up. Sure. And sometimes it's like, yeah, like I have a word from the Lord. God loves you. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. well, yeah. I, I the, know that. He already the, told me that in his word. Yeah. The vaguely, like yeah. vaguely encouraging ones. Yeah. Like God positive. loves you. He's got yeah. favor over you. And, <laughs> and he's going to bring you to new heights like the deer. Like, great. I'll take it. You know, <laughs> I'll take it. That's I'll, I don't mind. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but from a, from a trusted friend, um, uh, a, le a, a little note just said, I, I saw you in church and I just had this real strong sense that um, that things are going to continue to grow and he wants you to read this. Mm. And it was short, but it, it was all about just like the Lord loves your simple heart mm. and he wants you to cultivate that. Sim just keep it simple inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't That doesn't mean don't dream. You know, that doesn't mean don't have ambition. Doesn't mean don't work hard, but yeah. it's like, what's the simple calling? What, yeah. what is yeah. like, what is the goal? Yes. It's like putting a smile on the father's face, lifting up the name of Jesus and pointing people to him, mm -hmm. you know, like through music. Yeah. Giving, and just, just let that be like the, the true North. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I've, and I, at the time I was like, I know, like yeah. in my mind, I was sure, like, sure, sure. yeah, that's what I do. Yep. I do. I'm a, I'm a keep it simple guy. Yep. But this year, with the growth, mm -hmm. playing in arenas, 10,000 people a night, um, uh, bigger teams than ever, um, more expenses, mm -hmm. more just more numbers than ever mm -hmm. on all, everything. It's been, it, I've, I've found myself having to go back to that and realizing how right on that was mm. of like, because it's, it's interesting even, because as, as the success comes, it's almost like more success in me breeds more of a sense of like comparison mm. of like wait and more of a sense of like okay what does what does arena feel what what oh, sorry i'm speaking to myself in the third person but like i know what i'm supposed to do in a church mm -hmm. but like okay how do i rise to the occasion now mm -hmm. like what do i look like preaching in an arena like how am i supposed to, almost like this pressure to be something different mm -hmm. or something more or mm -hmm. move around more on stage mm -hmm. or have a more eloquent thing to say mm -hmm. or um live up to expectations. Do you guys coordinate those little worship dances that everyone does? <laughs> hey, if you want to see the extended version of this podcast completely unedited, consider partnering with us in our online community for as little as $5 a month. In exchange, you get access to these podcasts as we stream them live before anyone else gets to see them. You get access to the replay of our daily after party streams, access to our private Discord server, access to discount codes, and so much more. So help us continue conceptualizing the gospel through media, podcasting, and YouTube, and partner with us for as little as $5 a month. Also, be sure to follow us on the Spotify podcast app, on Facebook, and on Instagram. We're constantly posting content there that I think you'll find extremely valuable. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.